Hello and welcome to Learning Primary Science with Blue Tree. My name is Teacher Farron, and today I'm going to go through with you about electricity. So what is electricity? Well, electricity is defined as the flow of electrical power or electrical charge. And electricity has become such a vital thing in our lives that sometimes we do take it for granted. I mean, if you think about it, it powers almost everything we need like our refrigerators to keep our food from spoiling, the lights in our house, the traffic lights, the air conditioner, and the most important thing to all of us, the Wi-Fi. Can you imagine what life would be like now without electricity? It surely sounds like an apocalyptic event, doesn't it? Well, I'm glad we still have electricity and the privilege to live with it. So without further ado, Let's kick it off with the first question. A multiple choice question. The diagram shows a circuit board, the wires connecting the battery to the bulb holders X, Y, and Z are hidden under the wooden board. So here's a picture of what it would look like. Kelvin tried to find out how X, Y, and Z were connected using two identical light bulbs. The bulbs will light up when they are placed in bulb holders that are connected in a closed circuit. This line was very important. He recorded his observations in the table as shown. So before we look at the table, let us understand what kind of concepts are being tested here. So the key concept is electrical current can only flow through in a closed circuit. Now, let's look at the table. When no bulbs was placed in bulb holder X, the observations are bulbs at Y and Z lit up. When no bulbs was placed in bulb holder Y, bulbs at X and Z lit up. Finally, when no bulbs was placed in bulb holder Z, the bulbs at X and Y did not lit up. So this is different, right? So what does this tell us about bulb holder Z? It tells us that bulb holder Z is important in order to form a closed circuit. 